Hey everybody, this is Tommy Patty from Alderman Farms. We're going live again as we prepare the sourdough, uh, well, prepare the sourdough for bread making. The sourdough dough. Yeah, the sourdough dough for, for bread making in preparation for the Friday market. Patty wanted to go live again because I think last week we started, uh, we had already... Fine. Well, we did have fun, but last week we also started filming, I think, a little bit after you had started. Yep. And so uh, I'm going to be quiet now, let Patty tell you what she's doing. We need to know if you can hear us. I know you can hear me right now, but when Patty starts talking, I need to know if you can hear her because we, we're using a little external mic. And um, Six cups of, of water. <laughs> Could y'all hear Patty clearly say six cups of water? Uh, wonderful Blessed Life says she heard her respond, heard you respond to me. So, okay, good. Hey, Stephen, good game. Had a great, uh, hadn't even posted the picture yet. Had a great visit with the, the fine, the good games from Good Game Farm and Apiary. They treated me to a delicious meal at a local uh, Mexican place up there. I had, Patty, I had a mushroom quesadilla which will be my dish of choice when we go to the mexican place so hey phil um so right now i'm able I'm, I'm looking at the chat you know thank you guys for joining us but i'll be getting around there yep brenda duncan heard you clearly say um six cups of water hey bandana grandma says she oh, heard yeah. north dakota pink heard lisa booker heard okay. wonderful blessed life heard this hey, Amanda's is, Garden. Okay, I'm going to be quiet. This is the uh, yeast I use. I get it from Sam's. You get two of these for like 4 or $5, something like that. I had not bought any in a while, but I'm sure the price hasn't changed that much. The, the, light's not, the light's not good in here. It's okay. Fleischmann's. Yeah, let me, uh, let me do something with this. Okay. Okay, let's see. I hope that helps the light. Okay. Four, all right, six cups of water. Now, of course, we've got the recipe for a smaller batch. Because we're doing, this is gonna be 12 loaves and 12 loaves, so. So six tablespoons. Nope. I still can't get the light on it. Four tablespoons of yeast. One, Four tablespoons of yeast. Fleischmann's two, instant dry yeast. Levadura seca instantanea. <laughs> instantanea, instantanea. One. You've got one, remember that now. I've got one. All right, let me wash my hands. Yeah. After touching my phone. And come over here and man my station. Yeah, I, sorry if I keep walking off camera. I, was, I keep my yeast in a... Uh, uh-oh, in a uh, jar in the refrigerator, and then I, uh, oh, see my mess I'm making. Hey, that's my job. I put the rest of this in the freezer. All right, so that was one, two, three, four. Um, you counted the one that was already in there, I right? I did. Get my rings. Okay, um, where's my spoon? I hope specifically Jen at the Nut House gets to watch this because I talked to her about her starter this week. Um, it's in the dishwasher. Um, because she's getting hers going and everything, and I wanted her to see how liquidy mine is because I was telling her it should be horrible. Don't y'all love these old canisters? I don't see it. Am I using this? Oh, that's what I thought you wanted. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. Anyway, these were uh, my mama's. So, anyway, I love them. You don't have to do that right now. Oh, I was ready to stir. All right, let me see. How much starter? Four cups of starter. I want her to see how liquidy this is. Okay, I'll wait there. I think it's cool looking at the yeast because... 
You can almost tell if you look at it real close that it's see. critters. It is not critters. It is. Yeast is critters. Anyway, my, my uh, starter is very active. It is not critters. Oh, it is critters. Gross. See, I was telling her how mine's pourable. And that's how hers should be, is pourable, like that. She's uh, in a very, very dry climate, climate. And we were talking about that. You know, I, I, I don't, I'm in, we're in Mississippi, so we're, we have plenty of humidity. And um, we're talking about that, wondering if the uh, dryness of her climate would uh, make a, a big impact, and her starter was just really dry, so I think it would. So she, we were talking about her maybe adding more. Um, I mean, her starter looked like modeling clay. <laughs> yeah, it was thick. Um, you start can stirring you, it? Yeah, you can stir it. You just try to beat me tonight. I just, I just want to be doing what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm splashing. Splash me just now. Good. Yeah. I'm just trying to wake up the critters. I actually had to switch to doing two, switch it into two jars because it actually uh, was growing out the top onto my paper towel. So I'm using paper towels now too. I had told y'all to uh, use a coffee filter, and that's what I was using, but uh, I have switched to using paper towels. I really want to make up some extra tonight, but I don't know if I'm going to have enough starter. Tomorrow's our dairy day at the market. No, it's not. I mean, Friday. Friday is. Yes. Friday's our dairy day at the market. And so we expect more people. So I kind of like to have a little extra. At Dairy Day at the market, they just try to uh, bring awareness to the local dairy farmers and dairy products. And so. Yeah, Lincoln County is the largest, uh, or has a lot of dairy farmers in it. I don't know if it is the largest, but. Uh, yeah, we got we got quite a few. And so some of the dairy farmers will bring some baby calves. Uh, that the kids can look at, and then they've got this uh, fake cow. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's like a model cow, and it's got a udder, like a working udder, and they put milk in it or water or something, and the kids can yes, water. milk it out, you know. But you know, there's kids nowadays, even in Mississippi, that they don't know that milk comes out of a cow or comes out of a goat. They think they make it in the back of Walmart. <laughs> yep. Same thing with eggs and everything else, you know. I'm waiting on you, honey. Now you are. I still got little clumps of critters I hadn't got broke up yet. Little blobs of yeast. I guess that's what that is. Mm -hmm. I hope that's what it is. <laughs> Me too. It's either little globs of yeast or June bugs. <laughs> it is not June There ain't bugs, no June though. bugs in the I ain't going to sell any bread. <laughs> Critters and June bugs. <laughs> well, I think science is on my side when I say yeast is critters. Okay, let's see. Okay, a cup of sugar. All right, this is a half cup measure, so I'm doing two. like that. <laughs> need to stop. All right. The yeast likes it. Thank you. Whew. Strong, my baby. That's some strong smelling starter. I think we said that last week. It smells like a brewery in here. 
my sister was surprised. I didn't know that she'd never smelled it before. And I let her smell it while she was here. Who, Judy? Judy, yeah. And she was so surprised how strong it was. Julie, the one that missed her chance at stardom. Yes, yes, yes. All right, four tablespoons of salt. Those of you who watched Patty do a great job on the Sunday show, thank you for being so kind to her, taking care of her in my yes. absence. I got stuck, couldn't get back in time. Tell her all the time she's a rock star. Yeah, he really does. I don't think this thing's sitting level. I'm deeper on the left side yeah. than I am on the right side. Thereabouts. You need to wash your hands uh, before you put your hands there because you've been touched to your face. No, I haven't. Uh -huh, I saw you. No, I touched my neck. Oh, but they, oh that's just as bad. This jerk. By the way, let me see that thing right there. Little measuring tape. Somebody asked about uh, Patty's little sliding measuring cup. Boy, you need a new one. It's all out of whack. I got, I got another one at our house. The, I, put, I put it in the dishwasher. Oh, yeah. Well, this, uh, this one is... Uh, it's a pampered chef thing, but in the description of this video, once it posts, you'll see a link down there for, it says in Patty's kitchen. And that's an Amazon list with every stuff that Patty uses. Um, and it's either things that the exact model of things she uses or the closest replica we could find. Because again, this one was a pampered chef one, so they don't sell those on Amazon. Or I didn't see them if they did. I don't think they do. I don't think they do. I think but I've got some of the other ones and they work fine. It's only for girly okay. parties. And you're get in trouble for that. No, oh, it's cool stuff. I mean, that's not an anti pampered chef. We got a pampered chef thing. We've got several things from pampered chef yep. before. We do. I just mean that normally the men folk don't go to those parties. <laughs> they probably have changed that a lot. So many men cook now. Yeah, that's true. Not you, but... No, not me. They don't want me cooking. I can mess up a grilled cheese sandwich. He really don't cook, y'all, at all. I even do the barbecuing. It's not a cook. My brother-in-law does most of the cooking. Super soft water starter. That's not true. I wish she uh, 24 cups. It don't seem like this is mixing in. It don't. Oh, it don't? All in water don't mix, baby. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. Right. 24 cups, but we're going to start out with six each. Yeah. Six. I was just making sure we were still on. And six. Yeah, you don't. You can. <laughs> make sure we still have people. You can look at comments and uh, then wash your hands. Okay. Oh, Let me jump on here and start quick. See if we got any questions in the comments. Two, oh my gosh. Two. They have been having a party three, in three, the chat box. Four, oh man. What? I'll never catch up. I mean, I've gone way. How many jars, uh, Teresa Dean says, how many jars do you have of starter, Patty? Four. Bet as much as you bake, you need lots of it. Four. Now she's just got the one. Four, four, four. Oh, you do have two? Sorry, she's got two, but she can't say the number two because she's counting. Four, four, five. Uh, it, 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 we will let it post, let it snow. Um, I'll have to do a little editing like I always do. Okay, I remember Teresa Dean saying it looked like vanilla pudding. <laughs> I didn't do a good job. I got to get back over there. 
Yep, I'm ahead. I'm winning. Sorry. All You're right. Watching. We'll try to catch up if y'all want to hang out once we get to a stopping point. Um, I may just, if you want to just hold your questions until we get to that point, because uh, that's a lot of chatting that I'll have to go back to. Let me go wash my hands again. And write them in capitals. Yeah. Where he can find them. But don't do them now. Yeah, not now. Wait, wait till we get to the point where, uh, where I can post up behind the camera to, to look at them. No fair, I am way behind now. If, um, if y'all didn't see last week, I, I'm, since I'm it's such a big batch, I'm just mixing in six cups at a time. And, uh, it, last week it didn't take all of the flour, so it may not this week either, but... I, I do it in six cup intervals, and then the last six cups I'll break up into three cup intervals. Hey, and we did get some pictures. Um, oh yeah, that was cool. Uh, on the Sunday show, Patty showed uh, some cinnamon rolls from Pam Peoples, mm -hmm. who sent, and they were gorgeous. We got oh oh I got bread pictures this week. Yeah, oh. who was that? Who was that? Dang, oh, we should have thought about that before we did this. Oh man. I'm drawing a blank. But uh, look, I told her she has prettier. Wait a minute. Mo um, I was it Rhonda? Rhonda? Yeah, Rhonda. Rhonda Moulton. Yeah. We're, we're assuming it's Moulton, M O U L T O N. We Our, our uh, tendency is to want to say Mouton. Yeah, from Louisiana, so. <laughs> but Mouton in, in Louisiana doesn't have an L, it's just M O U T O N, uh, the Mouton that we know. But uh, I'm guessing it's Moulton. Pretty comfortable with Rhonda, is how you <laughs> pronounce her first name. Wait, don't mix it. But she sent us some pictures of some gorgeous loaves of bread. I mean, it was pretty. Even a, a braided. She, didn't she have yeah. a braided loaf too? Yeah. So again, if you make bread or cinnamon rolls using Patty's recipe, then please send us pictures on Facebook, facebook.com slash Alderman Farms. And if you're on Facebook and you haven't already, look up Friends of Alderman Farms and join our private Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Mm -hmm. um, we've had we had several people, uh, six or seven, I think. Um, I assume it's it was after I made that announcement on YouTube the last time, because otherwise it was just very coincidental that right mm -hmm. after I made the announcement, we had six or seven uh, of our viewers find us and get added to the group. So. Send your bread photos or sourdough photos, dough photos, cinnamon roll photos to facebook.com slash Alderman Farms and look us up also and join our private Facebook group, Friends of Alderman Farms. We'd love to have you. Don't do a whole lot with the group just yet, but we anticipate the Facebook, you know, everybody complains about YouTube's algorithm and Facebook's got algorithm problems too. And when we post things on the Facebook page, well, we got 2,000 and something people that like our Facebook page, but 2,000 and something people don't see some, everything we post uh, on our Facebook page. And last time I understood, and I could be wrong about this, so don't quote me as being officially correct, but it's my understanding that in a Facebook group, um, when you post something in a Facebook group, everybody in the group gets notified that it's there. So we anticipate doing some Facebook group videos, hang out with a little smaller crowd in there. And, um, I don't know. We'll see where it goes. But... Friends of Alderman Farms. Um, Y'all notice I'm using a different flower. They didn't have that flower at Walmart, 
I need to, I'm going to look on Amazon and see if I can order it on there and see how much it is to get it because I really like that flour. Hopefully King Arthur will do as good. So, so this is going to be about half King, King Arthur and half that other flour. So. This starts getting hard on the arm. Oh, I had something different happen to me today, speaking of arms. Yeah. Uh, Corey and I went out to milk. We're going out to milk, and he was a little behind me. And I went out carrying um, the milk bucket in this hand. And we have a basket. It's like a wire basket, and I was carrying it in this hand. And we had, I had two glass jars with water and then the other little half a gallon glass jar that Corey milks into. And, uh. I think it's about time to put the spoons down. Yeah, I didn't, uh, my feet didn't touch all the steps. My left foot just touched the top step and down I went, going off the deck. So, no video. No video, no. But anyway, thank God the glass, the uh, half gallon glass jar did break, but thank God I had on my pants and I had on rubber boots. That was part of the problem was the rubber boots. Um, and it's been so wet. I got to get some of them uh, tacky strips or, you know, things to get on the, put on the steps. To, so, uh, my arm right here has got a little red on it, but... I didn't even get a bad bubbo, so I'm very, very thankful. Just kind of turn it over on each other. And push it in. I like to have it turn this way. But not my fingers. Oh, you sorry. Said something. Did I get you? No, no, no. You, you were telling me something about don't or somebody don't commented stick that your it, fingers into it. Yeah, see, I think I think I have a tendency to do that. See, look at my hands and look at your hands. <laughs> what is up with that? <laughs> All right, now, no, wait, that was 18, <coughs> so we're going to do three. We'll put some over there. I'm a dough magnet. Rub it together. I don't understand why it does that unless he's just grinding his fingers into it. All right, now I we're at three. I didn't think I was. I think I was, uh... Yeah, when I pick it up, I am. And I'm you know what I... like this. Yeah, just scrape it up from the bottom. Um, I actually picked uh, almost a, uh, three quarters of a gallon of green beans. I told y'all, I did a live video in the garden and I had told y'all that I thought in a week or so I'd be picking, but after I did the video, I walked around the other end of the green bean row, and I saw some that were a lot bigger than the ones I showed y'all, showed on the uh, film. I say y'all, if y'all were watching. Be careful, because you know this table, we're not in the middle, and um, we're in the middle more. Oh, yeah. You can't push real hard. That would be bad, wouldn't it? Yeah, but it'd be on video. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I picked green beans today. This evening, I'm waiting for it to cool off a little bit. Oh, and uh, we talked about last week too that I was going to try and weigh my dough, and that worked so good. My loaves were all very symmetrical. You know, they all uniform. Uh, uniform. Yes, yeah. they were symmetrical too. Okay. Symmetrical so, means, you know, like they, they weren't lopsided. Yeah, and see, I do have a problem with them getting lopsided sometimes because it may be a little too much dough. But what I did is I weighed the whole blob. I put this whole blob on the scale and weighed it. And then I know that this makes 12 normal-sized loaves. And so then I split the dough. I divided that out, and I split the dough up into 12 pieces weighed out each one. It makes it take a little bit longer, but not that much longer to say the bread is so pretty. And who taught you to measure it? Oh, Sherry over at 7D Farm. 7D Farm. We've got her over 
Remember my goal is to get her to 500 subscribers. Well, she's over 200 thanks yep. to you guys. Yep. So if you're not already subscribed to 7D Farm. Oh, and also I'm making a, a cheese bread tomorrow. Um, and I've learned how to make it from her page. She's got, she's got, she does some very, she does some very different things. And uh, she just. Is that just, artisanal? Or artisanal, know. artisanal breads? Or I don't but know. Um, she, uh, she just has a lot of unique things she does. Of course, she does one that has olives in it. I don't know. Uh, yeah, you would love it. Um, I don't know if that would go over good at my market. Of course, Tommy would eat it if it didn't. Somebody, Teresa Dean maybe, had asked, commented on a video if you had ever made olive bread. Well, Sherry's got a video on it. And um, anyway, but you know, that might not go over great at my market, but then it might, I don't know. Um, but I, I have the cheese bread. I mean, who don't like cheese bread? Who don't like cheese? You know, so. So. Her channel is the number seven, the numeral seven, capital D. I think it's seven space capital D space no. farm. I don't think it's a space. Like if you're searching for it, not in the actual, not in the uh, I address put, I, bar. I put, when I do it, I put seven and a D right next to it, and it comes up. Okay. But go check her out. Give her a subscription. Tell her we sent you. She's probably watching. So it's like it ain't like it ain't like it's a secret. I think I need more flour. Okay. All right, now you're ahead of me with flour. Oh! -ho! <laughs> you got one cup on me, baby. You're doing better this time. Yeah, I'm doing better this time. You know what? I shouldn't have put all that right in the middle of it. For you. Yeah, kind of get some under the bottom too. I just made it fart. <laughs> That's ugly. Sorry. That reminds me of one of those uh, videos of baby, you know, changing a baby's diaper. Hmm. I wish we have had that one of you changing that. Oh, we don't even talk that. about that. <laughs> we don't need to talk about that. That would be viral. Yeah. I feel like we're pushing so hard. I keep thinking, you know, I'm not supposed to be pushing real hard, and the next thing you know, I feel this table flexing. Yeah, I feel it flexing too with your pushing on it. Mine? It ain't just me, hon. I'm not pushing that hard. You're hammering down too pretty good. I can't pick up all my flour. Still there? <laughs> <laughs> Lots of people scolded me about saying that it was boring. But I know it's like, you know, just seems like a lot of dead air sometimes when we're not talking. But we're working. Yeah. This is my flower right here. Uh, we're gonna not need to put all the flour in this dough again either. Well, we're, we're not up to the number of cups that it's supposed to take. No, you're on 18. I mean, you're on uh, 22, I think. That. He's digging stuff out the garbage. Toby! Bad boy. That's unlike Toby. He's a good boy. He's an old gentleman. Pretty much. I need to do a video on Toby. Yeah. He's the most interesting dog we've ever had. 
some kind of terrier mix that, uh, that we adopted, or he adopted us, one or the other. Uh, he was drop off at church and the kids begged, so we brought him home. Yeah, because he was a neat dog. He, he liked think, to play. He liked to play, and at that time, our across the street neighbors, oh, well, y'all seen Eli on in the chat. Eli may be on here, I don't know, but they used to have some little, I guess it was Boston Terriers, yeah. right? Yeah. And the kids, the kids called them trick dogs because yeah. uh, they would do all kind of tricks and were just real hyper and loved playing with the kids. Yeah, and the kids just loved it. And so Toby is colored like a Boston Terrier, black and white, and he was very frisky and uh, Boston Terrier like. He doesn't have the pug looking face. Uh, so I think he's got Boston Terrier. Right? Yeah, he's he's bound to have Boston Terrier in him. But there was there was no way we could say no, which Patty probably wanted I mean, to the say kids, no. I didn't want to say no. We were, Corey was three when we moved here, and so that Carly Ann was five. And my neighbor still laughs, Marilyn still laughs about me switching them all the way home. Yes, I switched my kids. <laughs> I learned that from my mother-in-law, and it works. Anyway, um. Azalea switches. They snuck, they snuck over there because they love playing with those dogs, and they cross the street. A five-year-old and a three-year-old. Now, we talking about. We don't have hardly any traffic on our street, but still, I mean, we hadn't been living here but uh, <laughs> a few months. I didn't know Marilyn that well, anyway, and you know, I come from the city. And here my kids are crossing the street going to the neighbor's house. And so I switched it. She still will roll laughing talking about how she watched me through the window switch the all the way home. <laughs> Y'all, we're talking about right, right across the street, right? But we live out in the country. So from house to house, you're talking about... We can't see each other's houses. Yeah, I, I wouldn't feel comfortable saying it's a quarter of a mile. I wouldn't let Tomas go while he's five. I wouldn't let him go walk over there by himself. No way. You know, it's and a, now that even though we know our neighbors, you know now, but you know, but but front, you know, porch to porch, it's probably. Uh, I mean, we could hear each other if we hollered, you know, yeah. at each other. It's probably a fifth of a mile. <clears throat> yep, they got it. <laughs> <laughs> and they just took off. Go to see, go see the trick dogs. And I found out years past that they did that on more than one occasion. I just had caught them that day. Yeah. Was it the last time they did it, or did they do it I again don't know. after that? I don't know. Because Marilyn would ask them then if they come over, she'd say, does your mama know you're over here? <laughs> you better go home. <laughs> Too funny. And we've, there's a neighbor that's down the road much further. What do you think? I think it, it looks kind of dry. Yeah. Good. I mean, is it done? Yeah. I mean, I'd like to see that mixed in a little bit better, but it's okay. But anyway, um, you know, we had our oldest when we moved here would have been 10. And so um, that's Cameron. And they, he told me that they would slip off through the woods and go to Cousin Maurice's house. And we call her Cousin Maurice because she's our distant cousin, but still, we didn't Way really... distant. Yeah, we really didn't know her. Never met her till we moved up here. And uh, he would. He said that they would slip over there through the woods. I think they was just out in the back playing, and they'd slip over to her house and eat cookies at her house. And I never knew it <laughs> until they were older. Thank God we didn't know it. If I'd have known they were going through the woods like that, it it scared me. Well, I me guess, a bit. I guess, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I guess, thank, thank God, you never knew that they were gone, gone, and not just right out back. Yeah. Know? The only thing I can imagine is they, as soon as they went out, they went over there because I never missed them. You know. Do you want to say something about another recipe or not? Okay. Never mind. I don't know if I'm going to have enough sourdough actually to mix up another batch. All right. I I'm really need to. Wash my hands and go do the camera now. Yeah, that's fine. Well, that went a lot smoother for me this. 
this time than it did last time. He did a good job. But she still got to come correct it. Well, it just it just is powdery on the top, and I don't want it powdery on the top. Well, you're going to put oil on it. Never mind. I shouldn't have questioned the sourdough corn. You did really good. Thanks. Okay, let's see. Quite a long time now. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna scrape out the extra dough that's stuck to the thing and the uh, flour, and get it out of here. And then I'll put my oil in here. <laughs> all sorts of we both should be wearing Fitbits with all that kneading. Oh. Well, I got my Apple Watch, but I, I had taken it off because I didn't want to get dough on it. All right, so uh, I'm behind the camera now, so I'm not going to try to scroll back up because it'd be too much. So um, I got the troll. Thank y'all. Are we at a troll? Yeah. <laughs> he was an anti-Semite. I don't know what that means. Oh, he was fussing about the Jewish people. Oh, really? Yeah. We're not Jewish. Hey, Jen's here. Hey, Jen, did you see my starter? I don't know if, Jen, if you were on here in time to uh, see Patty's liquid starter, we can show you again in a minute. So, if you've got questions, yeah, let it know. That's pistol packing Patty. Don't you know that? <laughs> <laughs> it's on. All right, so I'm at the bottom of the chat. So if you've got, if there's been questions, please retype them in all caps. And I'll stand here and try to. Uh, Suburban Hill, Hillbilly says, Patty may be the only woman that works more hours at home than she does. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. Jen was here, so she okay. did get to see good. your liquid starter. Good deal. Good. I was hoping. Got 62 people watching right Me now. Me and Jen had a good, good visit today. Was that today? I mean, the other day. Yeah. No, it wasn't today. I know. Y'all talked for like four hours on we the phone. Not at the most of an hour. <laughs> <laughs> Who you? You talking about me and Patty? You'd like to see arm wrestle? Somebody said they wanted. I'd like to see you two arm wrestle. That ain't gonna happen. I got. It's too big of a chance I might lose. See that muscle right there? I can beat him milking a goat, I can tell you that. <laughs> hey. I can't beat Corey, though. Corey, Corey milks fast. Logan's Homestead says you got that pistol to make sure I need the bread right. <laughs> let us know. It, the, the, the video will post. Uh, let us know so it's been cutting out for, um, for them. But no, the, the video will post. Uh, you know, a video of this length going on 39 minutes now will take a little while to pro for YouTube to process it before it's available to you. Um, but it will post. And uh, once it gets up there, I'll go back and, you know, do a good thumbnail and uh, put some end cards and make sure all the links are right. Um, well, thank you, Amy. Uh, Amy Davis said she thinks the best thing about Patty is she shows us how simple it is to cook these beautiful baked goods with just a little work. That's right. It's not hard. Yeah. It just, it's, and Amanda, Amanda's garden said, I know, Amy, she makes it look so easy. Just practice, practice, practice. Yes, Nifty Thrifty Homestead. I'll put a link uh, uh, as an end card to this video later, but if, if, if you don't want to wait... We have a playlist where Patty takes you from starter creation. Actually, she did the series live uh, all the way from creating a starter 
through the entire process to baking the bread, to finished bread. And it's a playlist called How to Make Sourdough Bread. Uh, you may can just search YouTube and find it. Um, there'll be others out there that you'll find too. And we want you to watch ours. But there's other folks that have great sourdough videos as well. But uh, we do. Okay. Oh, cool. Jen said uh, she wanted to thank us for posting that Instant Pot link at Christmas time, they use it every week. Yeah, we've got, how many we got now, Patty? Two. Two? Well, we still have cameras, we've got a mail it to Yeah, we still have cameras. I thought so the kids all won for Christmas, we bought, except Corey, not yeah, Corey. We bought Cameron and Chelsea and uh, Guillermo and Carly Ann an Instant Pot for Christmas. Yeah, Sarah, uh, Sarah says, do we carry on property usually? Yep. <laughs> we, what? Said they're she contemplated doing this. Uh, what? Carry weapons. Oh. Yeah, uh, Sarah. You know I've spent almost 20 years in law enforcement, so it's part of my uniform, so to speak. My uniform looks a little different nowadays. <laughs> it's an Alderman Farms T-shirt, blue jeans, or short pants. But yeah, you know. And plus, I mean, we live out we live out in the woods, so to speak. I mean, we're not in the wilderness, but we are out in the country, and um, our property. Our 116 acres is part of probably six or 700, uh, you know, inside the roadways. In other words, six or 700 acres worth of woods. That may be too much, but no, no, going all the way to Jackson Liberty. Yeah, so anyway, so we got, uh, you know, subject to critters. Uh, not the kind they put in, in, not the kind in the sourdough, but the kind that can eat your goats. So yeah, we're armed pretty much all the time. Let that be a lesson to you. <laughs> oh, North Dakota Pink doesn't know what an instant pot, it's actually instant pot. I have a habit of calling it an insta pot, but it's instant pot. And again, if you click the link in the description of this video, I don't know if it's there now, for in Patty's Kitchen, I think the instant pot is in there. And it's an electric pressure cooker uh, that the greatest thing about it, you can set it and walk away. You don't have to stand over it um, like traditional <coughs> uh, pressure cookers. It's, yeah, it's, it's controlled, you know. Um. Yeah, it's, it's controlled. There's Sherry. Uh, Sherry, I don't know how long you've been on here from 7D Farm. said they're baking tonight, too. Uh, um. I'm making another, I'm doing a batch that, this is a batch that would be like what you would make at home just for your family. It's with three-fourths cup of water, one cup of starter. It'll make three loaves. So I'm doing that because I'm making cheese bread tomorrow. <laughs> Yay. Here's a great question from um, Bandana Grandma. It says that, um, let me get it back just the way she said it. Bandana Grandma says, I would like to try the bread, but would probably have to use my KitchenAid to knead it for a while. That should work, though, right? Yeah, in fact, I, I've got the KitchenAid pulled out right here. I was going to do that, but since we're still on, I was just going to mix it here instead of running the mixer. Um, I can put, because, like, uh, I can only get uh, 12 to 14 cups in my mixer, and like Sherry has talked about, you know, it, it is hard on the motors and everything, and I really don't want to play out my mixer because I love it. But um, anyway, um, but yeah, I would have, this small batch I would have done in there had we not been filming. And I just let it rise in this. Good night, Teresa. Thank you for joining us. So, okay. Um, Teresa, by the way, says she has that exact KitchenAid stand mixer. It's a beast. So yeah, Grandma, especially for smaller batches. Yeah. And I'm assuming you have the kneading hooks is that what it's called kneading yeah, hook she's got the dumb hook Ho dough hook yeah gypsy farmer jan said it's easy to get the dough hot in a kitchen aid oh really i guess if you don't watch it i don't know well if you mix it too much yeah i don't do it a whole lot in there i can't find my fourth of a cup measure it's a the fourth of a cup so you know half of Half of a half of a cup is a fourth of a cup. Homestyle Mom says, are there any bread selling regulations at our farmer's market? No. Nope. Uh, we have a cottage uh, ki uh, cottage kitchen law, 
And so we're able to sell bread. Well, but there is a regulation. It has to be labeled properly. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's, there's rules that we have to follow. It's got to have all the ingredients listed on there and stuff like that. Let me see. Sugar. Well, Jan, oh, yeah. I'll get her a Hobart if I knew what that was. Okay, wait. I messed up. It made probably a, something that cost ten thousand dollars, but I messed up. What? A Hobart. She talking about the rolling thing? I don't know. Let me see. By the way, Rhonda Moulton's here. Rhonda, we were talking about you earlier. Your ears might have been burning. We were bragging on your bread, and she made your our, your bread patty with a wooden spoon very easy. Ah. Good. North Dakota Pink used their kitchen aid, and it worked fine. With the, uh, Maybe I didn't so. put enough water in there. I see. For some reason, I put three fourths of a cup of water. I don't know. Probably okay. all this talking. Sugar, water, starter. Okay, I haven't put the salt yet. I gotta stir this. Up. Well, thank you, Silhouette Park. Silhouette Park Farm says we have people ask us how to make bread. We send them to your links. Simple, ah. simple, easy, and yummy. Well, thank you. Thanks, Pia. For you complimenting my knuckling, good knuckling the dough. <laughs> he did better tonight, didn't he, Pete? I did better tonight. Beth Mitchell wants to know if the yeast has an effect on the sourdough taste. No, I don't think so. I, I mean, don't I, think so. And, no, because um, if, if, if anything, it might make it stronger because the, the sourdough is stronger, right? But, well, the thing is with the yeast, um, this is going to make three loaves of bread. I only put one tablespoon of yeast in it. Like with just regular white bread, I put a tablespoon of yeast in one loaf. Yeah. So because it's just using some of the sourdough is helping to, this, the starter is helping to rise it, you know. So. Susie Peterson says, would you consider sharing a sourdough starter? We're actually, yes. we're, 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 we're looking into that. We're trying to figure out how to ship them. Um, and we, we've had several people ask that. And yes, we would love that. I mean, how cool would that be? Uh, to get to have I, don't, our, I just don't know if I could ship the liquid starter because it expands yeah. when it's warm. But if anybody has any thoughts on that, let us know where we can find some information. Um, <laughs> sorry. I thought um, there's a way to dehydrate them. I just and I have a dehydrator. I just am going to have to read about it and experiment with that because um, you know, of course, I want it to work when you got it. So what I want to do is dehydrate some, reconstitute it. And see how it worked, you know. Oh, the Hobart is an industrial. All, everybody on here but me knew what that was. What it's an it? industrial mixer. Oh, In yeah, fact, yeah. Sherry said it's the best, best mixer known to man. Yeah, Tommy's going to give me that for Christmas. Okay. No, I'm just teasing. You better not get me that for Christmas. Okay. Why? Right. Does it cost? Uh, probably it's thousands of dollars, Tommy. Oh, we'll like see. Like thousands. Sarah says, uh, Sarah L says, my patty inspired starter is now three days old and bubbling away. I only, use, only use flour and water and it's going great. Oh, Can't wait good. till it's at full strength. You know, that's because you've got good local critters. You know, the, uh, uh, the success of a starter, correct me if I'm wrong, Patty, has a good bit to do with your, your natural flora, yeah. they call it. Yeah. The, the yeast that is in the environment where you are. And if you have an active yeast of good, you know, good guys. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I guess I shared it, but um, back when we had the Thanksgiving market, you know, we closed down our market uh, the beginning of August. So I didn't bake any sourdough, and I got ready to get my starter out in November for, my, for our one-day Thanksgiving market, and it was bad. Anyway, um, and that happens sometimes when you don't use it for a long time. Anyway, I... Uh, I couldn't get one started. It, it wouldn't work. It just wouldn't grow. And now that I'm using milk, I think that would have helped. But anyway, my friend Therese, this starter that I have that I'm using now is actually from her, and uh, she got me enough starter going uh, the, for me to do the market. So that's what, and that's where all this has come from from her. Okay, let me go over my list: sugar, salt, water, no, starter I... oil, now flour. That Six looks, looks kind of washed out. It's the, the lights in there are so bright. Um, <laughs> Sarah, uh, let me find it again. Man, it just 
the comments are just. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, Susie says she'd pay for shipping. <laughs> three. Here we no, go, Susie. Susie covers. Peterson said, I love your cupboards. Did you just take the doors off? <laughs> it seems so easy to get to everything. It is very easy to get to everything. Well, and I'm going to miss that when I put doors finally. Yeah, not exactly, Susie. We didn't take the doors off. We've never made the doors. <laughs> I'm too cheap to buy them. And, um, They're so expensive, and so I want to make them. Instead, I want to buy a table saw and a router, and then I could make other stuff. Yeah. And so, so we'll still spend the same amount, but at least I'll have some tools. Hey, Kitty. Sorry, I meant to say hey when you got here. Uh, Logan's Homestead asked, does sourdough cinnamon rolls uh, taste different than regular cinnamon rolls? I think so. Well, I don't, they're not, you're not getting the strong sourdough to me. It's not a super strong sour taste by any means. What I like about them, because I've made other cinnamon rolls, is that they, they're soft. You know, there's an egg in them too, but uh, they're very soft cinnamon roll, and I really, really like that yeah, about them. Yeah, uh, Jan, Gypsy Farmer says they're just a little bit more tangy. You know, Are they? I, I guess, I guess that, I'm yeah, used I to so. it, you know. So, and I really haven't eaten a whole one in a long time. I did sneak some pinches last week. Now, see, there you go, Sherry. You had you had thought about this, Sherry from Seven D says you can dry the starter and ship it. It's okay. super easy. Okay. So, uh, Sherry, I'm sure you'll be hearing from Patty to talk about that. Um, I was going to ask her something else too, or say something about. I don't remember now. I'm glad you're, you're recovering, Bandana Grandma, yes, from your uh, surgery. Yes, everything went really good with her surgery. She's going to be laid up for a while, taking it easy. Sarah says she's seen some starters that are the consistency of pie dough. Oh, that's what I was going to say um, about the starter. Um, somebody had said they just did water and flour. Yeah. Sherry doesn't do sugar in hers, but I, I forget who was it that said that. Oh, six to eight thousand dollars for a used Hobart. Yeah, thank you. See, Ooh. I'm not to that level yet. If we start doing this for our living, then uh, yeah, but then I guess we couldn't afford one. I mean, it'd be cheaper to hire teenagers, <laughs> but anyway. Um, but what the person, whoever that was, that said that they um. Did theirs with just flour and, and no, water. I don't remember. Um, do know this. Sherry said that when her starter gets weak, sometimes it'll get weak where it's not as active, she adds a little sugar to pe per pe pe uh, perk it up. So just remember that if you need a, need a little lift to your um, starter. Oh, there's a 20-quart on Amazon that's for only $52.93. 75. Are you looking that up? No, Paula Swearick did. It Stop it, Paula. It. <laughs> <laughs> Beth uh, Mitchell said, make curtains for doors. Yeah. I thought about that. Oh, Jan said you might find one from a restaurant going out of business. Mm -hmm. You know, I wondered if Backwoods Bayou might even have a one of those mixtures around, but I don't ever remember seeing one because I'd have been eyeballing it. Yeah. Because I know they don't use a mixer, you know, a big mixer for anything. Okay, Sherry, great. So we should get a box tomorrow. Ah. It's going to have a Hobart in it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's going to have a bread knife in it or whatever you call it. That's that's he awesome, Sherry. Goodies. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, good, Stephen from Good Game is not helping you. Either. Free shipping with Prime. Oh wow, we've got Prime. Yeah, we do have Prime. So look, just think of all the money you would save. <laughs> yeah, hey, but listen, here we go. Now Jan said use twenty quart ones all over Craigslist for around twelve hundred. No, <coughs> I can't justify that. Not right now. Oh, no, wait now. Here's something you and Jen can talk about next time you're on the phone. So one of Mike's commercial accounts takes restaurant equipment and resells it. Huge mm -hmm. mixers. They called her to ask if she wanted one. Ooh. Hello. Ooh. <laughs> Hello. Tell me she said yes. Hey, Kim. Kim Farmer. Kim Farmer hey, says Kim. hey. Hey, Kim. What you talking about 55 gallons, Jan? Oh, five gallons. 20 quarts, five gallons, yeah.
y'all, what, what I'm going to tell y'all too, um, you know, if you watch Sherry's videos and watch my videos, you'll pick up different stuff from each one. We do things a little different. You know, our ingredients may be a little different and all like that, but there's so much that you can learn from different people. And the people that have gone over there and subscribed, this is my last cup. It's not going to take it all, I don't think. They've, uh, I think they've really enjoyed learning from Sherry because she does a lot of unique things with her bread. And I was talking to Beth Mitchell, I guess last week, last Thursday night, last Wednesday night, and uh, she's subscribed to Sherry's channel and has been talking about how she was really enjoying it. And, I, you know, I told her, you know, I said, I said, what's so neat about Sherry? I said, she's just a couple of hours from us, you know? She's not, you know, she's not across the country or whatever. And I said, you know, she's like, she's just like me. She shares her information. She's not worried about me coming, trying to compete with her or any, which I would not do that. But she don't know. She didn't know that, you know. And so she just really is sharing, you know, a lot of information. And I haven't been on her channel in the last couple of days, so she may have even uploaded some more stuff. But uh, she's going to be doing a video. Uh, she's been she's been doing this uh, a lot longer than I have. I can't. Sherry, put on there how many years you've been doing the farmers market. She just posted. She she's got a twenty quart something other O M C A that she got used for six hundred bucks. Oh wow! So Sherry, tell post how long you've been at yeah. making bread. And while while we're waiting on that, but uh, Jan I... says she's got tomatoes on her patio. Oh good! Congratulations, Jan. That's great. Um. Well, I've, I've been lost my train. Sorry. Of what was I saying? Well, you're talking about Sherry and sharing information. And, yeah, but something um, else. I didn't lost it now. I'll come back, Jimmy. Night, Logan's. Thanks for joining us. Oh, Silhouette Park. I forgot. It's only 1 p.m. there. Oh. In, in the Dan Under. Oh wow. In Australia. At least it's not four o'clock in the morning. Yeah. And what time was it when Tams had to get got up and watch the sourdough? Yeah, I don't remember. It, it was it was wee hours of the morning. <laughs> she had to set her alarm and get up and watch it because yeah. we went live at twelve, so Hey Mama Cat. I wish I could remember what I was saying. Eleven years. About eleven years. Oh, oh that's said. what I was gonna say. She's gonna do a a, a she's gonna do a video about uh, enhancing your market. Um, your farmer's market. Yeah. Um, presentation. Yeah, your and presentation and how to uh, more or less help to draw people in, make your booth stand out, that kind of thing. And so I'm, I'm really excited about that. Yep. I know my booth needs some work. And in fact, I talked to Corey about making me, so this is one of my tables, and I just have a tablecloth on it so everything's flat. I talked to him about making me a box just about this wide and stand up about like this, where I w would add some height to it. I think yeah. that would look good, but we didn't get around to doing it. We talked about it though. Well, you have me to thank for Sherry doing that series on how to. Oh yeah, it was your, your idea? Well, not really. I saw you tell you told <laughs> her to do it. Yeah, she was she was asking people. She did a little a little get to know me kind of chat and. Uh, uh, that was one of the things she was asking about videos that people want might want to see and she mentioned that and i quickly commented yes and all i even yeah. typed it in all caps i know i commented on it too i watched it the other day and uh i commented on it too because i i just you know it would be very helpful you know i did find me a little chalkboard and i used it at the tuesday market too and so uh you got that from her write stuff on there yeah, uh, i don't know uh, i just said uh no, you bought it for me at Walmart. Southern Yankee, I mean the idea. <laughs> Southern Yankee Homestead Journey, we are in what's called, I guess you'd call it South Central Mississippi. We're just outside of Brookhaven, which is about 50 miles south of Jackson, about 20 miles north of Macomb, about 60 miles west of Natchez. Okay, that looks pretty good. Okay, Jen, go do that. Her nephew and his wife showed up. She's going to go visit with them. Thanks for joining us, Jen. Okay. Go to bed, Bandana Grandma. 
That's an order. Uh-oh. She says she's still <laughs> wonky from the anesthesia. <laughs> Uh, hope you sleep well, Bandana Grandma. Yes. And I just I pray the Lord will give you a restful night and that you'll wake up feeling like a new woman. But don't do anything. I mean, the same woman, you know, not like feel, wake up feeling like another woman, but <laughs> a, a new version of you. How about that? Very well rested and feeling no better. No, no pain. pain. Becky Dole, uh, it's 10.51 where she's at, and she's making pie dough for a rhubarb pie huh? to put together in the morning. Oop, I guess I need to back up now. I'm sorry. And y'all, I know that the dough is still stuck, but I think I told y'all last week, it make it cleans up so easy when you get have, after you have this oil on there. Oh wow, so she, Sherry has done picked up another market, a Friday market. So she's doing three or four now. Four now, I guess. Because she just on our video, she said she did does three. Because I thought she had done two. Who I'm not looking for no more markets. Got all I can do is handle right but, now. But you know, I mean, Sherry just—they just do an amazing quantity of bread. But that, you know, that's that's their livelihood. Yeah, that's their work. Yeah. So guess what? You can make a living making bread. That's right. But she is blessed to be in an area where well, they've, they they've got some farms. great markets. Yes. And, but the, but they do other stuff on their farm too. They have uh, yeah yeah beef cattle and all too. They do other stuff too, but. Oh, and that's what I still haven't made any hummus. No. Nope. I want to bring hummus tomorrow on Friday. Friday. You said you were going to do it. I know. It. Maybe I'll have a chance to do that tomorrow. On your lunch break. It doesn't take long. I know. We have a terrific hummus recipe. I call it Harbs Hummus. H A R B S. I'll need to do a video on it. Um, yeah. From my friend Bassam Harb, who is actually Lebanese. He. Uh, Oh, it's he, 10 o'clock. He lives oh, in Baton Rouge. She does three, Tuesday, Friday, and Saturday. Okay, okay. Um, Sarah, the mushrooms are all good. We haven't uh, harvested them anymore yet, but we are 99.9997% sure. <laughs> we're really sure that, yeah. that, they, that they are I golden really chanterelles. Are. And we've actually sold our first batch, in theory anyway. Chef Andy is going to come by a pound or two. Um, we're going to give him a you pick them price if he comes and gets them. And um, I'm ready to go get some uh, myself and try eating some of them. You saw that somebody's posted, yeah, I think you read it, that to try a little bit, try just yeah. have a little bit. Yeah. Rhonda, I don't know how to answer that. Rhonda says, how does hummus taste? I don't know how to describe the taste, but, and you can find all kind of really, there really is no way to answer it because there's so many different ways to make hummus, but it's made out of chickpeas. Actually, uh, we found not too long ago people make hummus out of black beans or something, but that's, that's not really... That's, that's, that's uh, Sherry. She does a black bean hummus and does all kind of different... Yeah, black. but that's not what I was thinking. I was thinking about the place we ate before Tomas's graduation oh, uh, had a black bean hummus. Well, it's um, hummus, but it just has other stuff in it too. I yeah, think. but... I'm feeding my starter over here. Yeah, Stephen, good game. It is hard to put into words, you know, but um, in in our recipe that comes from a Lebanese grandma, um, you know, it's based, it, the primary ingredients are chickpeas and tahini, uh, which is basically sunflower seed paste. And um, then, you know, some people like more or less garlic. Some people like more or less lemon juice. Um, I can't think of. I can't think of what else goes in it right now. I think that's it. <laughs> Stephen said he found himself eyeballing mushrooms in the yard again today, <laughs> after we talked about them yesterday. Uh, yeah, it's funny that you know mushrooms are kind of like Volkswagen Beetles. When you when you when you start noticing them, they're everywhere. Or like donkeys. When you start noticing donkeys in, in pastures and everywhere you go, there's donkeys. Um, let's see. 
Okay, Bonnie, uh, I need to remember that Bonnie says, please do a video on your hummus. Um, you know, Teresa, Teresa Threadgill says she don't care for hummus. The mouth feel is bad. Well, again, her, her mouth feels bad? no, I think what she's saying is the texture, the texture is yeah. weird for her. But, you know, it just depends on who makes the hummus because there are some versions of hummus that are kind of gritty. Yeah, and, and I'm going to tell you what I have found on, on ours, too. Um, you've really got to puree it a long time. My recipe says to do it for a whole minute or two minutes, yeah. and you've got to do that. We like gritty. it smooth. We don't like yeah. it gritty either. I mean, it, that doesn't. that's not a total turnoff for me if it tastes good. Yeah. But uh, but uh, but we prefer it smooth. Um, let's see, Southern Ark Homestead. Uh, hey, OAG. I didn't know Mr. Hey. Charles was here. Old Alabama Gardener. Old Alabama Gardener. The uh, comfrey plant is just exploding. It's looking great. Yep. Uh, we got a comfrey plant from Old Alabama Gardener, and uh, so we think it's magic because he had it. <laughs> so Southern Ark Homestead asks, do you add milk when you feed your starter? Yes, I just added the milk. I, well, I put it in my other jar because I had two jars going, and I'm going back to one jar right now. And so I poured my milk in there to try and get some of the starter that was left in there out, and I poured it in here. But that's new for you, right, using yeah. milk? Yeah, um, I learned that from my uh, friend Therese. Uh, she uses milk in her starter. She actually uses powdered milk in her starter. Really? Yeah. And I need to compare the prices and see what would be most economical, I guess. Good for you, Deborah. Deborah Haynes says their little town of Piedmont, Alabama is having their very first market this coming Saturday. Oh, great. I hope it goes good. Are you bringing bread? Deborah, are you selling anything? If not, I hope you'll go uh, find some goodies to buy. Yeah, support your local farmers. Yep, they make, uh, Sherry make, they make eight flavors of hummus. Wow. Eight? Oh my gosh, I would have said six. Yeah, if you use a good food processor, you can get it really smooth. You can. You can get you can get the hum the hummus so smooth that there's really not a texture problem. Uh, Carol Hennis asked if you make pies for the market. She makes egg custards. Yeah. Egg Don't custard egg pies, custard. if you call that a pie, I guess. I have thought about doing that because there's nobody selling pies at our market and I think they would go good. I just can't do everything, you know. I just can't. There's there's so many. I want to do dried stuff. I have brought some dried stuff. I want to do seasoning mixes. I just can't do it all. Yeah. I just can't. Can't do enough. There's not enough days. And Beth asked about the milk. So Beth, I hope you heard where she is still using milk and saw that. Sherry said their best seller is the. I'm assuming it's a hummus. Yeah. Is a cilantro cilantro lime, huh? Yeah. That's interesting. See, I don't know, I, and I would probably like that, but when I want hummus, I want Lebanese hummus. I want, I want you know, it's just a garlic, garlic, uh, hint of garlic, hint of lemon. Ours isn't a hint of garlic. You can taste it. Yeah, I like, I like a little bit more. Beth Mitchell said the powdered milk is likely cheaper. Yeah, my friend told me it's a little bit cheaper, but I wonder if for the convenience of it only being mixed up, if it would make that big a difference, you know? Rhonda, I don't understand that question. Patty, why don't you buy percent sign, close parentheses, LBS bread? Wouldn't it be cheaper? By LBS something? bread? Well, LBS, I don't know if that's supposed to be pounds, but there's a percent sign. It just, I don't know. I think that Rhonda has my fat finger syndrome. You're welcome, Freaky. Guy, we've been on 68 minutes. Oh, my gosh. I know. It's after 10 o'clock. i got to go to bed. Why don't you... All right, Rhonda says, why don't you buy 50, 50 pounds of... Uh, oh, the, of flour. She wants to know, why don't you buy flour in 50-pound sacks? Well, I haven't been to Sam's, and I have switched over to this, and I just got my Azure order that I order, and, I, and it's cheap to... Uh, to get it in 50-pound uh, 50, 50 bags for the shipping and all that? What? <laughs> Rhonda's having fat finger trouble just oh. like me because she's like 50, 50 pounds. But anyway, um, they were out of the flour I wanted, so I just haven't taken the time to look. But usually I buy, well, I think it is it 50-pound bags or 25-pound bags? I don't know. Normally what you get is 25-pound yeah, bags. Yeah, I, I, I had been talking getting about that. from Sam's? Yeah, and I may go back to that. Um, I'm really pleased with this flour. 
but um, I don't know. I'll just have to see. I, uh, I'm really liking the flour I'm using, though. And it is non-GMO, which, you know, the stuff from Sam's may be too. I don't know. But, um, and I'm using non-GMO sugar. People here are more and more finding out about that kind of stuff. Not that it's made a huge difference in my selling. I don't feel quite as bad when I eat my bread. I'm trying to use a little bit better ingredients and stuff like that, so. Susie, we don't make a yeah. buttermilk pie that I know of. No, uh-uh. Okay, guys, we've, uh, we have taken up so much of your time. Thank you, though. Yeah, thank uh, you all for watching and making sourdough with us. Yeah, we still got 64 people watching, even though we've been 65, even though we've been on here 70 wow. minutes. Wow. So. Yeah. Ooh, it's 10 o'clock. I won't be asleep for 11. i got to settle down now. Yeah. All <laughs> I have right. to go eat my ice cream. Thanks, y'all. We will see you again. Night. Thing I can't get to the end button that's behind this thing. <laughs> Good night. Sorry about this, y'all. Good night. Good night. Good night. He Good can't night. get to the right button. I can't to get push. to the button. Good night.